Hi all, welcome back to Coding World. Today in this video, I am going to show you one of the important topic while designing your web application or any enterprise application. So that is a HTTP filter. So what HTTP filters? You can see in this simple image when you request for any resources, that request HTTP request will go through your Java filter. It will it will check your request uh, headers or request body, and if it feels like uh, we have to, this is eligible request, we need to it will pass to the your target resource. If it is not, then it will return back to the that request. So doing filtering your HTTP request, like filtering means you can filter its its headers, you can filter its options you can filter its response and response on request so that purpose we use http filters so this is a i will show you you example of the java filter and then you will get a better understanding of the where are which scenarios we can use the java filter that means http filters i have my application so here i am what i am going to tell you so consider I'm going, yeah, going to give you a demo. In that demo, I'm having my front-end application in Angular and back-end application in Spring. So when my front-end application requests to my back-end, it back-end resources expect there is there should be a, some token in each request. If that token is not present in there, it means that request is inal invalid or unauthorized. So this is a simple scenario where we are going to show our where our HTTP filter. So what will happen? I will enter inspect this my Java uh, Angular application so you will get a better better understanding of the all HTTP headers and responses. So let me open my network tab. I am log logging out my application. So guys, we will start by logging to our application and when we log in to our application, it will generate, it will give that username password to your backend service and backend service verify those details and return you a one token or user object. So, and that user object or that token we will pass for your next all services whenever you are logged in okay so i will inspect my browser so you will able to see the network calls here i am logging to my application and if you see i will go to the my order okay on order you will able to see that there are two requests one is flight and one is http request one is with option it and second one with your actual request okay so in your request if you are able to see that in authorization authorization you are sending a bearer token okay that bearer token will check at the your backend and if that is present it will return you a data if that is not present it will not return the data now we will i will show you code so there are two inter there are one interceptor at a angular side and there is one filter at the backend side so i will teach you angular side interceptor and the backend side filter so here what we are doing i have a jwt interceptor and with this interceptor i am for every request i am intercepting and adding the my bearer token or in an authorization header so that authorization header i will retrieve in my filter and i will see if i am getting a bearer token that means this service is, this call is a authorized call if that token is present in my map then that is authorized 
if you are sending any token but that is not present in my backend so if you see first i will finish my ui side okay so in ui side i will be implementing http interceptor so in that i will override the intercept method and in intercept method what i am taking i am taking the user current user value from my authorized service and from that authorized service i am taking the token and assigning to the my headers and when the response get back from our backend service i will check if the response is of uh, error type and if its status is a 401 i will redirect to the my login url so again i need to do login to my application you will not able to access any tab without login to your application because your request will not having the authorized token that means you will not able to see my application so this is ui side now back inside what i have did i have added one filter so in that filter what i am doing filter is a like not a spring boot app spring boot concept it is a web servlet concept okay so for this due to that i i need to convert all the request and response to the http servlet http response so what here i for my checking purpose i was printing the all he headers which i i am getting from the from the http request now what i am taking i am getting the authorization header authorization header from my request which will containing a token that token i will check in my get user map this is a map if you see if for uh, like for testing purpose i have created the user map so whenever user will log in i will put that uh, token into this map with uh, respect to that username okay so yeah so once we get the username for that token we will we will do the filter and we will return the response okay if that user is not user is not present that means and it is not a login url that means the user is trying to unauthorize the request so i am setting 401 which is unauthorized to my response okay and that will we will do in a do filter okay so this is a simple process so we are doing two process and one more thing is uh, we have handle options request because angular application do the flight request which is option request in that option we will not having our authorized token and for that request we will not set set as a unauthorized we will simply set as a okay and will return the response this is a two case so here if you see that we handle three cases one when user has authorized valid authorizing authorized token that means user username will be not null and it will do the filter second thing is when the user will user will not have unauthorized token that means it is unauthorized so sorry if he has not authorized token that means he is unauthorized and we are setting 401 and returning the do filter this is these are the three scenarios we have handled now let's restart this application that means our map will be will be clear and uh, there will be no entry for our access token so here what i will do i will remove this all commented for and i will say so my application will get restart and if i try to access now let me know if i am access trying to access any payment
that means I am redirecting to the my login because if you see network tab in network tab I am getting 401 which is unauthorized access so guys using this you can handle your application re redirect redirecting to login page if it is unauthorized so this is a uh, daily use whenever you are creating application this is a must thing you have to implement okay so if you like this video and such angular spring boot related videos please uh, do like video and subscribe my channel thank you